recording Facebook, friends. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the live this morning. And we are going to demonstrate some exercises and then get right to it. So we can get this, our workout on after Easter. Hopefully you guys all had a great Easter and I uh, know I ate too much. <laughs> so try to get the burn on today. So today we've got diagonal planks and plank uh, break dancers. So we're going to start showing you those two exercises first. And uh, for, I want you guys to get down on the floor and practice this, these with me. So we're going to be in a plank position and we're going to take our right hand and move forward at an angle with the right hand and the right foot leads. Then we're going to walk forward with our uh, left hand kind of at an angle. And then we're going to walk with the right to the right left to the left. Okay, so we're kind of walking forward and diagonal at the same time. I'm going to show you that one more time. So forward diagonal, left diagonal, but you're walking forward. <laughs> okay, so that's our foot forward, and then we're going to walk backwards. We're going to about do two to the right, two to the left, and then go backward. Now the next one is called a plank break dancer. You're going to be in that plank position, and then you're going to Roll off the left leg, pushing the left leg through, and then come back to point. So you're kind of just rotating around that arm that stays stable on the ground. Now if you can't do that, just do a knee drive, opposite knee to elbow. But what we're trying to do is rotate through and kick that leg through. Okay, so if you can do that fast with me, that's awesome. That's called a break dancer. Then we have single leg lunge jump. So let's just work off the left leg to start. We're gonna be going down into a lunge and then exploding up into a jump. Just staying on one leg. Okay, so it looks like this. It's kind of a high skip, high knee skip. Okay, then we have broad jump to back pedal. So you're gonna be broad jumping and then Back pedaling, keeping the butt low. Broad jump, back pedal, okay? And then power push up on knees or wall. So I can barely get off the ground with these, but <laughs> maybe you can try it too, but you're gonna do a push up. And then the power part is where you, when you come up, you try and release the hands from the ground. So even if you can get just a couple centimeters up, the point is to be powerful with it in like that explosive plyometric way. So you can do it on the wall. Adam, will you demonstrate on the wall? Yeah. So just releasing the hands from the wall. Or if you guys have a stable bench, you can do it from a bench. Okay, then the last one is hip thrusters on a chair. So grab your chair. When we're doing the warm up, if you don't have one handy, but you're gonna sit on it and then bring your butt down to the floor, rest the bottom of your shoulder blades on, on the chair. Then you're gonna walk your feet out just a little bit, okay, until you feel like the edge of your shoulder blades are just resting on the edge of that chair. And we're gonna pivot off the chair into a hip thruster, like this. So if you have a weight, put the weight right here on your hips, so kettlebell, dumbbell or something heavy on your waist and when you get to the top you're gonna squeeze the bottom okay so that one is really great for glute work we're gonna be working the glutes today with those um, lunge jumps too so we're gonna get the heart rate up pretty good with those lunge jumps so let's go ahead and get started on the warm-up we're gonna be down in a hip thruster on the ground for our warm-up. So let's go ahead and get started. Everybody join me on the ground. We're gonna just do about 10 hip thrusters. Step seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna flip over into uh, what I call quadruped or on all fours, knees and hands. 
And then you're gonna bring the right hand and left leg out. So quadruped opposites or bird dog is another way to say this. Start warming up that core, warming up the back close to your chain. Welcome everybody who's joining us this morning. Four more, two each side. Last two. Okay, we're gonna switch from this to cat cow. So we're gonna sink the low back down, bring, extend the neck, and then bring everything together, arching the back into that scared cat position. Inhale and exhale. Exhale on the cow. Inhale on the cat. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. All right, we're gonna get up. We're gonna do some scoop jogs. Get it a little jog on. Okay, we're gonna count every seven steps. We're gonna go down and scoop. This time our, our foot that goes forward is gonna come out straight, or we're gonna scoop down. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Opposite foot. Just count it out yourself. Two more each side. All right, let's do some leg swings. So if you need to grab your chair, grab your chair. If not, just leg swing forward and back. Okay, let's switch to uh, out and in. We got less than a minute till we're starting. So, a couple more on this leg and we're gonna do the other leg. Here we go. Other leg. We got those diagonal plank walks coming up. Okay, let's switch to in and out. All right, 25 seconds and we're going. Okay, so let's just kind of lateral lunge it out. We have 15 seconds. I'll tell you when we need to get to the floor. We're gonna get in that plank position here. Let's go ahead and get down. Exercise coming up. Counting up, five, four, three, two, one. Walk lateral, left or right. Lateral left, lateral right. Lateral left. Now we're going backward. I know. Walk to the side four times. Walk forward four. It doesn't matter how many you walk forward or back. Just do the opposite number going backward. And time. Okay. We are doing plank break dancer. So. I gotta get rid of this mat. It's in my way. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Kick that leg through. Four sets left. So if you're balancing on your left arm, left leg goes through. Remember, if you're just new at this, kick the opposite knee to elbow. If you can go all the way through, go all the way through. Wrist coming up. Five seconds. Three, two, one, yes. and time. We've got lunge jump coming up. We're gonna go off that left leg. Two, one, here we go. Exercise 30 seconds. Set three, Take a high three skip sets left. Off the same leg. Just lunge back like this if you have to, or pulse it out. But if you can do that, skip, do it. 
that heart rate up. Rest coming up. Three, two, one. Time. Woohoo! Okay, broad jump to back pedal. Get your mats out of the way. Don't skip. slip on those. And go. Exercise 30 seconds. Set four. Two Adam's sets doing wall sits because of his knees. Keep that butt low on the back pedal. Rest coming up. Shout out guys, five seconds. And yes. time. Power push-ups on your knees. Okay, grab your mat, you got five seconds. Okay, we're Exercise pushing up. 30 seconds. With the release. Set five. One set left. Just do a regular push-up if you can't do that. Or go to the wall. Try and get a release if you can. Even if it's a one centimeter. <laughs> Rest coming up. Three, two, one. Yes. Okay, hip thrusters on your chair. Grab your chair. <laughs> Ooh, that's not a whole Exercise lot of time. Exercise 30 seconds. Okay. Last set. Hip Come thrusting on. up. This is our last exercise in this set. If you felt like it took you a long time to get set up, just go into the rest period a little bit. Get a couple more reps in. Squeeze at the top. Rest coming up. Five seconds. Three, two, yes. one, and time. Get a couple more reps in if you felt like you were cheated on that one. We got our rest coming up. Workout pause. Starting your Tabata workout. Oh, Warm up one minute. One minute rest. Whew. Who do we have joining us today? Hey, Kathy. Hey, Brenda. Cindy, Marie, Danae. Hi, guys. Hey, Bryn. Hey, Christy. Get your water. We're going to start out with those diagonal plank walks. Roderick is here today, so we got the noise turned way down. <laughs> Try not to over talk too much. He's sleeping right there. <laughs> okay, eight seconds. Here we Exercise go, guys. Coming up. Down in the plank. And three, two, one. Up in your plank. Let's go. Last one. Walk. Seconds. Cycle one. One cycle left. Set one. Five sets left. Try and keep your butt low if you can. Rest coming up. Five seconds left. And time. Plank break dancer. Back down into plank. And three, two, one and go. Exercise 30 seconds. Set two. Four sets left. <laughs> you can get kind of low on these if you want. You can dip your butt really low when you come around the corner. Need a little extra. You can feel that extra effort there to dip low. Wrist coming up. Yes. And time. Single leg lunge jump. Opposite. Opposite leg. For me, it's going to be my right leg this time. Doing all the work. And Exercise lunge. Exercise 30 seconds. Skip. Set three. Three sets left. Lunge with a high skip.
rest coming up. Okay, come on, you guys. Let's get it. Two, and last one. Woo-wee, broad jumps to back pedal. In three, two, one, here we go. Exercise 30 seconds. Set four, two sets left. Exercise coming up. Workout paused. Okay, other leg. Ah. I read a, an article from a psychologist today about like the top 22 things you guys can do while you're in quarantine to stay happy. And a couple of them really hit home for me but that was get up every day at the same time, sh shower and do your makeup and hair as if you're going somewhere, put on clothes that make you feel good, and have a routine to your day. So we've been waking up at seven, working out at eight. We have our devotional at 8.30 that we do online. Our pastor goes live every morning at 8.30. And then after nine o'clock, usually that shower time, get ready and then proceed with the day. So how are you guys doing? Tell me what your routines are. And if you don't have one, maybe it's time to set a good routine for yourself. Those of you who are watching this every day, I know this has become part of your morning. Okay, let's do a quad stretch. So thanks for making us a part of your morning every day. That's been fun to see the same faces and new ones too. And those of you who are working out from home later in the day, thanks for joining us. Another thing she said in the article was that exercise was so important for mental wellness. And I couldn't agree more. After these workouts, I always feel so much energy, like a high. <laughs> so it's a great start to the day. 
I'll post the article in this group so you can see it because it's really good reading. Another thing I liked in it, she said, do right and left movements. So right body, left body movement or things that tax your hands right, left. So like um, working with your hands, whether it's quilting, painting, doing pottery, any kind of crafty type stuff is going to help soothe your mind. We've been doing a lot of that around the house too, a lot of crafts. Painting. <laughs> okay, let's get down on the floor. We're gonna do one more stretch and then I'm letting you guys go for the day. So, our hamstring stretch, arms straight out. Back is flat, stretching the back of the legs. So for those of you who are um, moms and you want to come to a virtual mom conference, May 2nd, I'm going to be one of the speakers at a virtual mom conference called Bloom Mom Tribe. And I have a 10% off discount code if you guys want to join, but they've got a buy one, get one for free coming up. And I'm going to be speaking about nutrition and mental health issues and how we can help our mental well-being with nutrition. So I have like a 20 minute spot in the conference, but it's a national conference. So there'll be speakers from all over the country. I'll post about it here as well. So you guys can get access to it if you want. But it's like 27 bucks, I think, without the discount. And you can invite your friends to watch virtually with you. But set aside the day for yourself. Awesome and blessed day, and we'll see you Tuesday. Bye bye.